are live. You are watching the Tom Green Live Show. Is that what it's called? The Tom Green Live Show? It's called the Tom Green Live, not the Tom Green Live Show. Tom Green Live. And uh, I couldn't be happier than to have these four gentlemen uh, on the show today. Not only are they hilarious and from my native Canada, but more importantly, they performing, they've been performing together for many, many years, well over a decade, uh, spending practically every day together, uh, probably too much time together, uh, yet they're still good friends. And over the years, they've stayed a group. They've had a hit television show that's run for 13 years. They've made multiple movies together. They've created their own brand, The Trailer Park Boys. And they've built a comedy empire. Look for their new movie, SwearNet, and their Netflix series, The Trailer Park Boys, season eight, available now. Please welcome The Trailer Park Boys. How are you guys doing? Good. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, good. good to be here. And, and we are uh, so excited to have uh, you here. Cheers. Did you just get in from Canada? We uh, did. Yes, we did. Yeah, absolutely. Long flight, a lot of drinking on the plane. Absolutely, and I, I, I'd like to point out that we are not drinking Bloody Marys. No. no. We no, are drinking not. Caesars. Caesars. Made what? with Clamato juice instead of tomato juice. That's right. Wonderful, great Canadian drink. Yeah. Especially when you're hungover. Uh, a Clamato juice is like a clam juice. It is. A clam tomato based juice mm -hmm. Which is that hard. they use to make Bloody Marys with in Canada. Why do Canadians do things differently like that, do you think? Why, why are we weird like that? And we got to put clam juice in our Bloody Marys. <laughs> That's a really good question. I'd like to know who the first person that came up with that idea was. I'd like to know the first person that juiced the clam. You know what? How did you do that? Where, how do you get the juice out of the clam? Do you do you milk it? Yeah, you have to milk you the clam. Milk I think you so. Milk the juice right out of the clam. Okay, I, I, let's 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 get right into it. I want to talk to you guys about this amazing uh, thing that you've done with your lives. This is really uh, incredible. We've got clips today from the Trailer Park Boys. Awesome. How did the Trailer Park Boys start? How did it actually start? And it started back in 1999 yeah. uh, with Mike Kleinberg. We did a black and white movie uh, for the film festival, Trailer Park Boys. And uh, we just uh, I, I went to the film festival, we had a great reaction. Then we pitched it up in Toronto and uh, showcased, grabbed it and said, okay, let's shoot a series. And you guys are all buddies now, real friends in real life, or are you not really no, like not each really, other yeah, outside of work? No, we yeah. know each other. It's yeah. Over. yeah. yeah. J.P. Tremblay, Rob Wells, Mike Smith, by the way, introduce you all. Let's 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 get that on, on camera here. J.P. Tremblay, Rob Wells, Mike Smith. Bubbles is, is not here today. He's not here today. He's in town, but he's just not here today. Let's have let's have a look at a clip from the Trailer Park Boys, uh, and uh, let's have a look at a clip. So let's have a, a quick look. I'm in here. I'm so real. I'll swear and everything. Sorry to interrupt, but I just had one of those brain learning things pop in my head that wasn't there a second ago. And it's about time to think of me around that basically, what is Christmas? You know, you know, I just got out of jail, which was awesome. You know, in jail, we don't have presents and lights and trees. We just get stoned and drunk. It's the best time. You know, I get out here and I'm all stressed out. My girlfriend breaks up with me. And, I mean, that's not what Christmas should be. You should be getting drunk and stoned with your friends and family, people that you love. So a lot of, of uh, it's important to get drunk and stoned. With your friends and family. With your friends and family. family. Definitely. It's a great message. Really what, was the Trailer Park Boys one of like the first mockumentary series on television? You know, like The Office does it now. Was it the first one that was doing that? I don't it's know. the first series I, I remember. There's a lot of films. But. Like the camera's part of it, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the original conceit was that, you know, Julian hired a camera crew to follow him around to document his life because a psychic told him he was going to die in a few days. That's from the original movie. Yeah. So it was always the conceit that, you know, this doc camera crew was, it's kind of like cops, but the cameras follow the criminals around instead of following the police around. Nice. Okay, well, look, we, we're going to take some Skype calls. Do we have a Skype nice. call queued up? No, we don't? Really? Oh. That's fantastic. Oh, how come? Because we we have we, we want to take some Skype calls. You know why? Yeah. Nobody wants to talk to us. <laughs> no no no. We have we have people we, we have people calling. Um, okay. Well, let's let's take a Skype call. Let's just take one. We have yeah. Let's take Eric. Yeah. We, we got him. We've got Eric. We've yeah, got. Yeah. Let's Turn take on, one. Let's take him, Eric. Yeah. Let's take a Skyper. We there we go. There he is. Hey, you're on the air with the Trailer Park Boys. Uh, what's your name, sir? My name is Eric, sir. Yeah, go ahead, Eric, with your question. 
Oh, I was just curious about uh, what was going on with the network in the fall now that the movie's out and of course we're already a big party. So I was mean, just curious what's coming up, what's planned for uh, the winter and uh, looking forward to it, whatever it is. Awesome. Um, I, we can answer that question, but I have to ask you a question first. How fucked are you right now? <laughs> I'm getting there. Seven. Seven's pretty good. Seven's okay. Seven's not Did bad. you hear his question? I didn't really hear what his question was. It was um, basically just what's going on, I think. Yeah, what, what are we up to? What a great question. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for your call. I'm glad we like did a pre-interview with you and had a producer speak with you beforehand, because that was a really great question. Thank you. <laughs> let me let me just reiterate it. What's going on? <laughs> Season eight. Season eight's coming out. Season nine's actually coming out after Christmas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Hopefully we'll shoot season 10 and 11 next year. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's what's going on. Okay, cool. We have another caller on Skype. Andrew from Vancouver. What's your question for the Trailer Park Boys? Hey, guys. Big fan. I've uh, been watching for years. Uh, I saw Swearnet last night. Honest. So my question is, is that really Patch, Pat Roach's dong, or is that some sort of makeup artistry? <laughs> So of all the things you could ask us, <laughs> you want to know about Pat's cock. Yeah. I have a lot of questions. That's the one that's the one I was asked that to, to, to ask. It's a question on everybody's mind. It is a big question and the whole world is wondering the same thing. Is that and yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> There's a lot of... We're going to talk about Swearnet later in the show. It's your new movie. It's coming out. I'm in the new movie. You are yes. in the new movie. How did I end up in the movie? You just... No, I'm, I, I'm in the movie. You are in the movie, and yeah. you're very funny in the movie. You beat the piss out of me in the movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had a big fight scene. The premiere is tonight. We're going to have a great night tonight. Let's talk a bit more about Swearnet. When we come back, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We've got a lot more happening today on the show, live with the Trailer Park Boys taking your call. Stick around. We're back with J.P. Tremblay, Rob Wells, Mike Smith, the Trailer Park Boys. We're here. We're live on Access TV. We're eating cheese. We're drinking uh, Canadian Bloody Marys, Caesars. Yes. Yes. When, when, the sh when the show started in Canada, uh, I, don't, I don't normally talk this loud, by the way, do I? I was going to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I loud. like it, though. It's yeah. really aggressive. Uh, I don't here. normally talk this loud. <laughs> Even on the show, actually. Today, I just for some reason, I feel like talking loud because you guys are here. I like it. Yeah. Like, look, like, I can it, hear you so clear. Because we like, we like party a lot, right? We, we, don't have, do. we go to parties and stuff. We do go to parties. We're yeah. known to do that. When yeah. was the first time we met? At the Montreal Comedy Festival? Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. Just, just for Laughs Last Comedy Festival yeah. in Montreal. Yeah. I... Basically, you know, since the show premiered, I've been a huge fan. We met each other there. We started doing shots of uh, Jameson, probably. And Noel Fielding was with Noel us. Fielding, yeah. Yes. From the Mighty Boosh. Remember Noel? Yeah. yeah. And you, you molested Tom. But no, I didn't. I don't think that was that night. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that part either. But, uh, so, so when, when, but the thing, what is, it, what is it about being Canadian? When you're Canadian and you have a TV show in Canada and it becomes a sort of legendary thing, well, what is it that, that is different about that, I guess? I don't know. Um, One thing that's different is that you're not rich. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody probably, assumes that you're a yeah, like, multi-gazillion. That's probably the biggest difference. Everybody assumes, because you're on TV in Canada, everybody in Canada assumes you're rich. Because you guys, we, we went out to Harvey's, which is the Canadian version <laughs> yeah. of uh, Burger King, yes. basically. And uh, when we were shooting Swearnet, and uh, you know, we couldn't walk like... 10 feet without you guys just getting mobbed everywhere up there in Canada. Was there a point when the show started on television where you started looking at each other and going, whoa, something's going on here, this is weird? Yeah, it took a few years, a few seasons, but yeah, three seasons, those three seasons in started to get a little nuts. Yeah. We actually went on tour with Early Peace and uh, across Canada, it was the first time I realized that, wow, this is getting a little out of hand. Our Lady Peace, huge Canadian rock band. Yeah, yeah. Finger Eleven, Seether actually was on the tour. It was, it's quite a time. And you've toured with Guns and Roses? Yes. Not all together? Just, just you went? Just we, we, did, we did a few shows, but you did a ton of shows. Yeah, I went on on tour with, with them. Um, I became friends with Axel, awesome guy, and he just took me around the world, like traveled on his jet, and I every night I would play a song with the band. We would do, like, at the end of the night, I'd come out and Bubbles would play. Liquor and whores with Axel. So wait a minute. So you just became friends with Axel Rose? Yeah. 
I just I met him actually through Sebastian Bach, uh -huh. who you've had. I think was he on? Yeah, yeah. he was yeah. on the show here. Yeah. Yeah, I met him through him, and uh, yeah, we just you know we just hit it off. He's a cool guy, and we was just, there any partying going on? There was <laughs> maybe a bit. Now, what's that like hanging out with Axl Rose? What's he actually like? He's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, he's not at all what the you know the. The press, you know, he's not like the press makes him out to be. He's actually a really awesome guy, down to earth. Very funny, very funny guy. Very cool, I, I love him. Cool. Okay, well, we are taking lots of calls tonight. We are live on Access TV. We have Kazzy in Vancouver. Kazzy, what's your question for the trailer park boys? Hey guys, my question's mostly for Bubbles. And it's about Rush, the greatest band of all time. Nice call. I was wondering, is it actually your favorite band, or was that just sort of something you put on for the show? No, Rush are, Rush are up there. They, they'd be in my top three of all time. Definitely. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for the Rush question. What now? You, you, what is it about Rush that is so great about Rush? That you, I mean, I, we, we all love Rush in Canada, but what is it that is so Well, I'm a, I've played guitar since I was five probably i started playing guitar and growing up i was just you know rush where alex was the guy you know he was the canadian the worldwide uh you know guitar guy that just that's who you wanted to be it, it was so hard to play rush songs when you're a kid easier now with the internet you can look it up and it shows you how to do it but when i was a kid there was no you know you just had to listen to it and figure it out so but talent-wise, yeah, I mean, the three of them are just incredible. They're a trio, and they sound like a five-piece band or a seven-piece band. I want to ask, like, about how this empire that you guys have built works, okay? Uh, I mean, how, how is it that you made so much? There's been such a huge output of comedy. How many episodes of Trailer Park Boys have there been? Is, is, there's, a, there's a movie every six months comes out, right? <laughs> there's a network now, a television network called SwearNet on the Internet. Uh, you can go on the internet and check out SwearNet, which you have uh, uh, videos and shows available. Yeah, and what it's actually going, like the three of us uh, recently bought trailer, we own the Trailer Park Boys franchise. Now we own the whole thing, so we can do whatever we want with it. So SwearNet is an online, all swearing network. And the sort of what we're about to do is like the flagship part of that is Trailer Park Boys the, the seasons go up on Netflix, but on SwearNet you will see a web series happening in between the seasons to stitch everything together. This is an all-swearing network here as well. Awesome. <laughs> Access TV. Fucking it's an all-swearing network. Actually, we had a game we wanted to play. I don't know I'll, well, I'll put you guys on the spot, but uh, I thought maybe we could count how many swear words you guys could come up with if you went sort of individually and in, in, in we could count. Like you, sure. you, you want to start, JP? Cocksucker. There we go. One. Fuck blaster. Okay. Shit clock. That's it. Yeah, because we can swear on the network, so we're at three. Okay. Oh, That's they're my go, favorite. Going for it. Yeah. We'll probably, we'll probably beep that one. I'll probably beep. <laughs> <laughs> we can't swear on the network, but we may beep beep that one. Uh, okay. Uh, shit inhaler. Okay. Shit inhaler. <laughs> now, is shit inhaler, or uh, is that, or is it just shit? Can we take shit inhaler, or take shit inhaler? Okay, because we could go on a lot. We could add a lot of derivatives of shit. I'm sure, and be here all day. Uh, yeah, good point. Cock pincher. See, yeah, okay, all right. The cock. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I, I think that that was a successful game. <laughs> What did we win? Did we win anything? Yeah, you, you, win, you win the fun of playing. Yeah. No. Okay, well, th this is going to be uh, a lot of fun. We have some surprises coming up in the show. We're drinking Caesars. We've got more calls. We're eating cheese. We haven't even eaten the cheese yet. We're live on Access TV. Stick around. We'll be back after the break eating cheese with the Trailer Park Boys. Stay tuned.